Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. I know this is new. I'm sitting on my bed and I have my stuff. I'm trying to make something happen on this back wall. I got lights. You want to see my lights? There are the lights, but the way the camera is situated is hard to see when you're here. But maybe I'll put some more on the wall so it could be like extra sparkly. This impromptu video is brought to you by my shopping addiction. Jane Carter Solution just had their Cyber Monday sale or I think it was Cyber Monday. It was 40% site-wide and I went crazy and that's pretty much all it took for me to start adding everything in my cart. I thought it did pretty good. I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven products for $66 which I think did not include shipping. I don't have my thing nearby. I'll put it down below to confirm. I have to because Jane Carter Solution is one of my favorite lines for natural hair that I've used on my hair. I keep returning to certain products over and over again. I use their revitalizing leave-in conditioner, their spray-in formulas daily. I use their Nourish and Shine daily. And as you know, I love the Healthy Hair Frizz Freestyling Smoother as a uh, pre-styler under even styling creams, which is crazy because this is a creamy formula in itself. And for it to be layered under another creamy styler and for my hair to not feel greasy, I know. So that's why I bought two. <laughs> I just wanted to go over the other products that I purchased. You see that my hair is just having a moment. I wanted to then, after I showed you the products, go in the shower, try some of them, come back on here, see how it looks wet, wait for it to dry, see how it looks dry, and yeah, just have a Jane Carter solution day. If you haven't already, please subscribe, because why not? You should, you should just come and visit me more often. And hit the notification bell. You should do that too. What shall we start with? The new product that I am excited to try from the ones I purchased is their Restore Creamy Conditioning, yes, Creamy Conditioning Cleanser, which I didn't know about. Um, is My light is very, very bright. Here you go. I will put all the prices, the discounted prices up by me for each product just so you have an idea. This is eight fluid ounces and I'm excited to try this. I, I've i used their co-wash from their Curls to Go line, I believe, and their Healthy Hair line, but I haven't tried it from their Restore line. I love their Restore fragrance. It's more herbal and it's not as flowery smelling like the Curls to Go or the Healthy Hair. I will let you know what I think about this once I get out of the shower. What's next? Oh, I didn't know this existed either. This is their Healthy Hair Hydrate Leave-In Styling Smoother. When I read the label, I was like, wait, is this the same as the Frizz Free Styling Smoother? And I thought, let's read the labels here. We'll figure it out. The Frizz Free Styling Smoother is made with sunflower oil, maracuja oil, and panthenol. The Hydrate Leave-In Styling Smoother is made with shea butter and mango butter. Okay, what are their tasks? The Frizz Free is for leave-in, heat protection, frizz control, and perfect to use as an anti-frizz curl prep. Great. The Healthy Hair Hydrate Leave-In Styling Smoother is designed to is an infusion of hydration that nourishes the cuticle, tames frizz, and creates healthy shiny hair. Perfect blend of natural butters and plant botanicals that nourish, add moisture, and seal the cuticle. It seems that this is more so a leave-in detangler, and this is specifically for a style prep. It, it appears. I'm looking at the ingredients quickly here just to go over. And yes, the Frizz Free Styling Smoother, it also has, oh, I see, it has shea butter ethyl esters, whereas this guy has just shea butter in it. Also, cocoa butter, uh, the mango butter, which we mentioned before, henna leaf extract. Probably this is more butter formula and this is more oil and phospholipids, I also read, which I guess creates more slip and it's a lighter formula, so it can be 
use under another curly styler without living the hair greasy like I said before as to why I love it so much. Next we have the Restore Moisture Mist Spray which I did mention in my Jane Carter Spritzer Leave-In Spray video that I went over several of their leave-in conditioners that come in a spray formula. They have a ton and I just pinpointed the ones with a fragrance that I prefer or how my hair felt after I applied it. I particularly love the scent of this uh, the Restore. Again, it's herbal and earthy. It's not as flowery and I do appreciate the design for the sprays because this gives more of a a wider mist per spray and covers more surface area at one time and I think it very effective when just getting as much in as possible simply because I just have a ton of hair. I also bought another revitalizing leave-in conditioner. This fragrance is by far my my favorite I think out of the entire line. I don't know if I said this was my favorite. I, I prefer this one over their Healthy Hair and Curls to Go line fragrance. This tops them all. The original scent, oh, I just hit myself. The citrusy, revitalizing, refreshing characteristics of this fragrance is by far one of my most well-loved and favorite fragrances out of any natural hairline that I have ever tried. I don't know what it is. I think, and it's unisex too. I feel that it's not, not leaning more towards one spectrum than the other. I feel like both men and women can use this and it just works well in terms of uh, the fragrance profile of this product. I have been purchasing this for years. I think this might be like my 10th bottle. I'm, I'm not even kidding. It's that well loved and such a crucial piece in my natural hair product collection that I will always go back to, always have as backup. It never fails me in terms of its performance, what it does, the hydration, the lightness of it, again, the scent, and how great it makes my hair feel, which is really all that matters in the end. Thank you, Revitalizing Leave-In. An oldie but a goodie. I I stopped purchasing this because I stopped purchasing this because it's on the more expensive side. This is $22 for 4.5 ounces. And I get it because the ingredient list is killer. You have the shea butter, cocoa butter, same setup as the healthy hair leave-in styling smoother, but this one has a lippy butter, a lippe, excuse me, which is how I think it's pronounced, but I could still be butchering that up. Orange peel oil, grapefruit oil, and this one has, again, the more citrus smelling profile out of all the lines. I love how this smells and how light it is, but how hydrating it is at the same time. Again, I'm happy that this was on sale because I, I've i been a fan of this product for a long time and one of those things where it finishes, I'll just use another thing that was on deck, right? And just won't buy this again because it's $22 for 4.5 ounces. A little on the expensive side, but I understand, again, because... The ingredients are stellar, top-notch, nourishing, hydrating, will provide shine, it, all the good stuff. Needless to say, I'm happy I picked this up. I think it pairs very well with the nourish and shine. And the fact that you can use this just on your body, your hair, after I'm done applying this to my hair, I apply the rest to the body, to my nails and cuticles. It's just a dynamic duo and usually I apply this at night because it's a little heavier and I find that the heavier formula does well overnight kind of sink in do its thing and this is great for during the day because it's lighter but still is chock full of those moisturizing ingredients I'm pretty happy is that all do we do we do all the products <gasps> I think so here's what I'm gonna do using the restore creamy conditioning cleanser. I didn't pick up the conditioner and I feel like I should have because I still have my three-in-one main choice by the main choice and I want to finish that and it's not a bad conditioner. I actually prefer the Jane Carter solution fragrance over the main choices fragrance which is 
sweeter, more icing type of fragrance that I particularly am not crazy about to begin with, but some people are, I understand. Because of how well it performs in detangling and softening, I still use it. And that's what I'll do. But I think because since this is a conditioning cleanser, I don't necessarily have to go in with a conditioner after, but I still will because I know my hair and it will appreciate it. That is the plan then. I'll spritz either some of my Restore or Revitalizing. Then I feel since we've already, since I already know how much I love this, I'll use this today as a leave-in detangler before my, whatchamacallit, creamy styler. But what I want to do is apply this before my Curl Junkie Coffee Cocoa Curl Cream Lights because I did mention in that video that I would have liked more hydration, more moisture, and even though I said I would apply that under something else, I'm thinking because of its holding properties, I will apply this under that and see what happens. See if this kind of pumps up the hydration levels in the coffee cocoa cream. And then when the hair dries, we'll apply some of this, you know, just because we have it and I've missed it and I just kind of want to apply and smell again. It's really what we'll leave it. All right, that's the game plan. I'll hop in the shower and be right back. Okay, we're back out of the shower and I'm not going to lie, I totally forgot to spritz the Restore leave-in. I did put in my Malaya hair oil because as I mentioned in other wash and go videos, I'm very adamant about being consistent with that step. I changed plans and decided to stay in the family and apply the Curl Defining Cream as my main styler. But let's talk about the conditioning cleanser and the styling leave-in. I'm a little mad because this bottle is so small and I feel like... I will use so much of it for long term. This is an incredible product. In terms of how it smells, because it has that musky layer to it, even though it can smell a bit flowery, it doesn't disrupt my senses or make me sneeze. That musky character to it settles it down and it's not as overpowering as one of their floral fragrances and I appreciate that. The creaminess of it, extraordinary. And upon contact, it started to smooth through my hair, very detangling. I did section still because anytime I deal with a conditioning cleanser, I want to make sure that it gets in my scalp and that I take time in each section to massage my scalp with the product because I know it's in there. If I don't and just go in straight on, I feel it just stays on the surface and doesn't really penetrate the layers of, that I have because I have so much hair. I, I mean, the, the I, this, I guess is a first impressions because I've never used it before. Now I'm back on here speaking about it. I love it. Upon first use, I love how it felt. I love how it smells. I love how smooth it made my hair feel. I didn't feel the need to apply a conditioner. I didn't go in with the main choice 3-in-1. I felt like I didn't need to. It still was smooth to the touch when I rinsed this conditioning cleanser out. And again, my, my hair felt so, it just felt incredibly soft, detangled, and smooth. Huge fan. I definitely will repurchase this. If they are ever running another sale, I will stock up on this product, hands down. Then we went in with our Healthy Hair Hydrate Leave-In Styling Smoother. And if I were to describe this in a nutshell, it is a lighter version of the Curl Defining Cream. They even smell uh, very, this one smells very close to the Curl. This one has a little bit more punch in terms of fragrance and texture. This definitely feels like it's the lighter version of the Curl Defining Cream. And I apply this before the styling cream and incredibly silky and smooth. The texture is milky and the way it combs through your hair and how it helps finger raking is 
fantastic. I love the texture of this product. I love the fragrance. It's not super flowery, which others can be. Definitely more low key in the in the fragrance department. I'm in love with this texture and very reminiscent of the first restyling smoother, which is more of a curl prep. And also this this says to be just for curl prep and I'm sure you could use it for other things. This on the label says you could apply it daily as a heat protector or if you just need a little extra styling and frizz reducing. A little more multi-purpose I guess in, in profile than the first restyling smoother but the texture I felt was very similar in nature in terms of that silky feel, very smooth, very detangling, no knot had a chance. I mean, none. Definitely will be repurchasing. Definitely will be using again, for sure. Apply the Curl Defining Cream, which you know is one of my favorite styling creams. I'm constantly reminded of how well this product performs in terms of how it, the texture it leaves my hair. Soft, smooth, shiny, frizz-free, defined. Definitely an all-in-one and one of my faves for creamy stylers. And hair is looking good wet. I mean, this is giving me a great preview of how it will look dry. And I'm excited to get back on here. Dry hair, fluffed out, how it feels, how it falls, the shape of it and all that. I think I will use my hair dryer because I want to get to bed at a... Decent hour. And if I rely on the air drying, it's, I mean, we'll be here midnight and beyond. No. I'll let this air dry a little bit just so it can set a tiny bit more before I go in with my diffuser. Finish it off with that and we'll be right back. Hair is dried and shiny, springy, and very healthy looking. I am sorry that I look a little shiny. I apply to all my skincare and I have like 10 steps. Stay tuned for that skincare video. It will be very thorough, detailed, and long. Just a warning. I don't know what to call this video because although I spoke about new products, the leave-in styler and the conditioning cleanser, a lot of the other products I mentioned were replenishment ones, products that I already have, that I knew I was running out and just needed to take advantage of the sale. And I had a feeling I, I knew I was going to love the new products that I tried tonight because overall, if I don't like something from Jane Carter, it's because of the fragrance, pretty much. I would say the only creamy styler that I don't love as much as her original Curl defining cream is the one, the curls to go line. It's the, it's like a creamy souffle. I just feel it doesn't leave my hair with as much shine that I get from the defining cream. Although I didn't apply that souffle with another detangler, I could try that again. As you know, you have to go through a trial and error period, combine products, see how they work together, figure it out. I definitely will apply the Curl Defining Cream and the Hydrate Leave-In together over and over again because I love how they work together. My hair still feels light, but it's soft, shiny, smooth. I love how it's defined and how uh, the shape looks. I am going to bed and how I usually prep my hair is to put it up in a very loose pony. Do I have my hair thing here so I can show you? I usually take my hair tie and pull it up, which seems contradictory after all that we've been through getting here. With the way I sleep, wearing an eye mask, I feel that when I sleep with my hair down, all that just kind of disrupts my sides and I rather keep it up so I know it stays, it doesn't get disrupted, it, it just stays there. I sleep on a satin pillowcase to ensure that breakage is kept at a minimum overnight. With the hair sliding over the fabric, it won't pull, it won't break, 
if it were on cotton that's the deal with that and yeah i'm happy that i came on here because i was so excited about getting my products and i wanted to come on here in case because i was anxious to try the newer products see how they work let you guys know about it i know this is after cyber monday and if you were looking to buy any Thing that you liked on this video i'm not sure if it will be on sale oh i forgot to put on the wait a minute i got so excited that i forgot we needed to apply our hair nourishing cream if by chance there is another sale going on in the future oh I'm gonna take a moment i love how this stuff smells i don't know what it is my favorite if there are any sales in the future if you're on the mailing list you'll know about it right away i would take advantage and buy uh their styling smoother the leave-in version and the curl prep version i if i were to pick my favorite spray leave-in it will definitely be re the revitalizing i'm not this is not my favorite pump style this is if this were in this it will be perfect. Even though this is a great formula, it's a tad bit heavier because this contains shea butter, glycerides, henna leaf extract, and other botanical extracts, whereas this is mainly just extracts and the aloe vera leaf juice, uh, I, which I believe is the primary hydrating ingredient in here. It's, it's the second ingredient listed after water. If you're looking for a lighter hydrator, then I will recommend the revitalizing. If you're looking for a spritz leave-in with a little more hydration property, I would think about the Restore. The Restore is more expensive. I believe it retails for $16. I did get it on sale, so it'll be 40% off that. And this, I believe, goes for 9 Correct me if I'm if I'm wrong. Again, I will put the prices up here by me so you can get an idea of what that costs. Oh, I just love how this smells. My hair's so soft. Oh. I'm looking forward to using the hydrate leave-in as a refresher tomorrow or even just as a hydrator. I don't think I'll refresh my hair to wear it down because I am teaching tomorrow and will just probably bring it right up. If I need to refresh any of my side curls here so they don't look as frizzy, I'll go in with that product and report back. Maybe I'll just come back on here and film uh, the using the leave-in as a refresher just to see how that works. And that's all I got for you today, friends. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another impromptu review, chit-chat, demo. Get ready with me. Take care and I'll see you again soon.